Drone-based inspection is not a technology of the future, it is a necessity for today's digital fast-paced world, believes the Swiss team Flyability. So they have a product to match. Here is a drone called the Elios 3. The drone measures 19 inches wide and 15 inches high. One charge is enough for about 12 minutes of operation. The compact body, protected by a special cage, hides a powerful internal system. The FlyAware technology that uses hardware from NVIDIA, LiDAR and GPS provides a 3D model of the environment in real time. Combined with the SLAM technology that compensates for occasional tiny movements, this ensures calm and confident operation even for inexperienced pilots, and all collected data is stored in a special program in a convenient form for analysis. Next up is an interesting option for people who like to stay cool. Ucoolity 3.0 is a vest that offers a noticeable effect in just three seconds, according to the manufacturers. The vest weighs about a pound and is designed not to interfere with playing sports, walking or working. The vest disassembles into several pieces for washing. The built-in battery lasts about three hours and can be connected to power banks. According to tests, at 80 degrees Fahrenheit, the air can be cooled down to 47 degrees Fahrenheit. The manufacturers are confident that the vest will be of interest to fishermen, road workers, tourists, couriers, and basically anyone who spends a lot of time outdoors. The price is $100. Take your game to another dimension offer the creators of these smart lenses for gamers. The key feature is the AR functions. According to the idea, the lenses track eye activity and head movements, so the camera in the game moves accordingly. They also have a built-in blue light filter that protects the eyes from overexertion. You can adjust the lenses through a special program called Armory Crate. Give yourself yellow cat eyes to put yourself right in the witch's monster hunting shoes, the manufacturers say. And support for smart gestures allow you to activate a key combination when you blink or wink. Unfortunately, the product is actually an April Fool's joke. However, the video has had over 600,000 views, and people commented that the idea is technically feasible. So if these lenses were realized, do you think the demand would be high? Do you need all the power of a flame for your cooking experiments? Then you'll appreciate this manual grill blowtorch attachment. The design may seem strange, but it's based on seven years of work and feedback from professional cooks and food stylists. With its patented palladium-coated inner screen and special mesh, the design is suitable for everything, from heating up pizza to cooking shrimp. It won't leave any smell of burning, and thanks to the even distribution of heat, the dish will not burn. In addition, the design quickly heats up and cools down, and a fairly modest weight, about a quarter pound, allows you to take it on a picnic or camping. The price is $75. Let's climb aboard the American boat, the Wham V. In spite of its unusual spider-like legs, it is a joy to use. For example, the Wham V33 fits into a 20-foot container without any problems, which makes it very easy to transport. Technically, the Wham V33 is a modular catamaran, with a top speed of 24 miles per hour and a range of 279 miles. The hull is easily configurable, making it ideal for both civilian tasks and military missions and an internal combustion engine can be supplied instead of an electric one. The manufacturers offer a bigger version, 100 feet long, and a smaller version, 8 feet long. All models can be controlled remotely, and they're also able to operate in autonomous mode. And if necessary, a cockpit for manual control can be added to the larger models. What happens if you divide a keyboard in two? This Hungarian company believes that the result is a tool for professionals, and here is why. 
First, the keyboard can be flexibly modified by adding new modules. A touchpad, a trackball, and other options are available. Second, you can choose an ANSI or ISO layout and select a Windows, Linux, or OS X version with function keys. And third, the Agent app will give you a wide range of options for macros, keyboard shortcuts, layouts, and more. In addition, there's also a palm rest made of natural beech wood. The manufacturer has added different software components on GitHub, so customization experts can go wild. The price for the UHK V2 keyboard is $320, and you'll have to pay another $75 for the palm rest. Israeli designer Netta Goldberg is next on our list. She's come up with a collection of very unusual shoes. They look more ludicrous than useful, but let's check out some of their functions. The collection consists of three models. The orange shoes hold tampons, the white ones hold matches, and the blue ones allow you to charge gadgets, that is, act as a power bank. The reasoning behind Goldberg's choice is simple. These are the items people borrow most often from others. In addition, being able to help out a random passerby can lead to a positive physical interaction, she believes. In addition, the idea is to put a barcode on the back of each pair that takes you to an app where you can continue to communicate after meeting someone. How do you make ordinary appliances smart? The creation of Fingerbot Sense are sure that it's easy. Just install this product on any gadget, and it's done. The device is a bit like the useless box that was quite popular some years ago. Thanks to a special manipulator, you can press buttons, flip switches, and perform other similar tasks. The manipulator is easily replaceable. There are different versions and special files for printing on a 3D printer. You can control the device through an app, with a remote control or by voice, or connecting it with Alexa and Siri. You can also set it to work according to a schedule or a timer. You'll have to pay $25 to acquire this little helper. This is a solution for working in warehouses, created by a company from India. The vehicle was created specifically for speeding up order picking and is available in three versions. The version shown is the Pick Snail, while the Pick Universal and Pick EFP are also available. They differ in their optimization for different industries. For example, the Pick EFP is better suited for the pharmaceutical industry. Pick Snail is ideal for maneuvering in short and narrow aisles and will travel 19 miles on a single charge. The model has a payload capacity of 176 pounds plus the operator and a top speed of just over 6 miles per hour. According to the company's statistics, this system can increase productivity by about 30% and performance data will be displayed in an audit-friendly format. On your screen is a system that makes it easier to catch spiders, bugs and other unwanted guests. Usually, people use a cup and paper, but not everyone's nerves are made of steel. So, the creators of this product just took a box with a lid, attached a long handle to it, and asked $35 for it. Because peace of mind is priceless. The length of the device is about 4 feet, and there's a special mini brush to get uninvited guests out of corners. The tilt mechanism always aligns the cup. The aluminium rod is foldable, so the device will not take much space. By the way, the author successfully raised funds required to start production in May 2022. A tinkerer named Jan Gromes built this robot called the Arduino Explorer Rover. The project started like this. He wanted to own an Explorer robot that could ride over rough terrain. However, all DIY kits available on the market had the same problem. They were all too small. So eventually, Gromes took out his tools and assembled his own version. The robot measures 23.6 by 19.7 by 9.8 inches and weighs 20.9 pounds, not including batteries and additional electronic details. The robot will reach a theoretical top speed of about 6 miles per hour 
and it has six wheels with independent suspension and six motors. The creator of the project has kindly posted a series of eight articles on how to assemble the robot yourself, so you can try to make something similar on your own. This unusual construction is not a joke or a prank, but a project by athlete and activist Razor Bellucci. With this contraption that looks like a hamster wheel, he tries to cover considerable distances to raise money for charity. Unfortunately, so far Bellucci's attempts have been unsuccessful. In 2014 and 2016, he had to be rescued. And in 2021, the athlete intended to cover about a thousand miles between Florida and New York, but his vehicle washed ashore about 30 miles from the starting point. I will show people that anything you want to do, do it. Don't listen to anyone. Chase your dreams, Bellucci told the Fox Channel. Let's wish the stubborn man good luck.